Okay, my next talk is on, I've done extensive work on tuberculosis, both active and healed. As all of you know, it's a very notorious, unpredictable organism and it is widely spread in India. So yes, there is a possibility when there's an active cox hip. So in selected cases, that is what I'll just share with you from my experience. So a lot of people have tried, but King, Kim Yoo-hum, who has really broken the ice and he started doing with some special pre-operative uh, debridement and chemotherapy. And there are a lot of papers now which are coming up. So possibility of active TB can be managed. Also hill TB. So causes of reactivation are inadequate clinical selection criteria, inadequate anti-TB medication, no effectivity assessment of ADD medication, no immunological status assessment. CD4 count is a very good parameter which we studied, which gives a host immunity. So if you do THR in patient with good immunity, it works better. Similarly, uh, there are a lot of spine studies which shows that biofilm formation is less in TB. So I've got an extensive experience of 133 cases and to share with you, there is a no reactivation in any of this case. So these are the 10 commandments, whatever from my study. One is of course you do when there's an arthritic stage because synovitis, it is completely reversible. You must give a effective pre-op and anti-DB medication initially with five drugs for three months and then uh, nine months. A patient with discharging sinus, you should not accept because when there's a discharging sinus, the outside organism, septic organism are mixed and uh, it is not a good case and it is like a septic arthritis. So no discharging sinus should be there pre-op. At the end of three months of anti-DB medication, when you start the case, the ESR should be less than 50. It should be showing good downward progression. Same with the CRP. It should be less than 10 when you select. No pulse on MRI. MRI is a very important criteria. Patient's immunity should be good and CD4 count is a good parameter. The CD4 count should be more than 500. Patient should be well, uh, well nourished, good immunity, HIV negative, no large bone cavities more than 10 millimeter from the acetabulum, no bone lesions away from the cartilage 10 millimeter, and no active pulmonary TB. Hill TB, uh, you have to give post op anti TB medication. Few example, Hill TB, you can see 25 years ago he was done excision orthoplasty and he was limping like this, there was a shortening. It was an active TB case, they tried everything but which failed, resulted into excision orthoplasty and he was, uh, there was no sinus, he was limping with severe shortening and we did uh, with post-op anti-TB medication and he is walking actively with good reconstruction. So active TB, most important is a three month effective anti-TB medication, a classic TB. You can see a uh, classical destruction. So after good preoperative backup and good response, you select the case and do THR. And you can see 11 years follow up, he's enjoying walking. One more case, he's a policeman and you can see he's as active as before after 15 years of activity, he was bedridden. Protrusio, you can see this is a classical uh, activity be uh, prone on MRI and she is enjoying and she is now more than 19 years follow up. Pathological fracture patient had a TB hip arthritis and he had a fall, minor trivial fall and he developed a fracture neck femur with arthritis and ideal case MRI also proved everything activity be. 
mortar and pestle type she came from lucknow with uh, classical and responded very well to anti tb medication and uh, we did uh, that time metal on metal was there but uh, excellent activity bilateral hip arthritis very rare in tb but this was a case of uh, uh, and uh, proven uh, bilateral uh, involvement wandering acidulum so classical as we will describe in the books complete destruction of the superior part you can see here and it was active and responded very well to anti tb medication so we accepted the case and you can see the mobility he's got full mobility enjoying lifestyle sometimes the spine is also associated with the tb as you can see in this young girl the spine is also involved and uh, if you follow the same protocol with good response of pre op anti tb medication this is a 14 year follow up you can see she is enjoying the mobility spine is also healed just by anti tb medication and thr has given beautiful movement i was again one more uh, topic was given for this guest topic 2004 british orthopedic i published in 95 in one of the journal and uh, it's a big honor for us for uh, 2021 journal of orthoplasty so everything is written in this chapter so conclusion it is possible if you select a case and shows good response of anti tb medication and follow those ten commandments there is a possibility in active tb selected you can do uh, thr and hill tb it is always better to protect with anti tb medication post op so no discharging sinus no frank pus on mri is very important uh, pre op requisite and post op you must give 10 to 18 months of anti tb medication good immunity status cd4 count is my study and that is a very important uh, pre operative landmark and lesion should not be away from the acidulum thank you very much